Okay, so... Good. If I had the money, I'd get some for Mom. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. I get to eat here for free. Not just here, but every restaurant in the strip mall. They're all supporting me. I'm the only one who can eat as much as I want, wherever I want. But I feel kind of bad, like I'm taking advantage of their kindness, so sometimes I pay the bill anyway. Someday, I'll pay them back for everything. For now, I gotta take whatever I can get. That's why I have to make it big. It's for everyone who's been helping me. Well, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't. But a little pressure can be a great motivator. All that matters is how you deal with it. By the way, who would you say is your biggest rival? You can be your own worst enemy, but at the same time, your greatest ally. You do get it. Hmm. There isn't really anyone left who I want to compete with. The other guys on my team can't even keep up with me. I guess what I'm looking for is a real challenge. Hey, you should think about taking track more seriously. Then we can really push each other. I even reach new limits together. Catch each other between training sessions. Later.
How are you doing? I remembered a little more. The end won't be brought about by any one person in particular. It's going to happen because there are many who wish for it, almost as if it was decided from the beginning. But isn't it strange that there are those who would wish to bring about the end? Hmm, I see. Well, I guess if you're unhappy, you'd want it to be over quickly, huh? Otherwise, you might end up consumed by hatred for everything in this world. Well, enough of that for now. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you today. Soon, the flowers of poison will bloom. Three in the rival garden, and one in your own. I don't know if this has anything to do with the end, but you should be careful. I'm happy to hear you say that. I'll let you know if I find out anything else. That's what friends are for, right? Well then, good night. Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. It's me. I'm sorry to disturb you, but do you have a moment? Good morning. There's actually something I need to tell everyone. But I think it would be best if you saw it for yourself. So I'd like for all of us to meet in the command room tonight. I'll see you then.
have we received a new mission? I don't know, but the alarm's not ringing. designed to help control his persona. Basically, it's an evoker for dogs. Wait, does that mean Koromara was going to fight with us? I honestly wasn't expecting this either, but the test results show it's quite possible. In fact, it was actually a request from the chairman. We'll be looking after him here in the dorm. Koro-chan, is this what you want? He says, I'm returning the favor. Man, you're one loyal dog. Hey, sounds good to me. I, for one, welcome him with open arms. The more the merrier, right? Who cares if you're a dog? All right, I'll take him for a walk. And it's the perfect time, because it's summer break! Yes, it is. You're free to enjoy your vacation, but don't forget about your schoolwork. Summer classes start next week, so don't lose focus just because we have a lot of time off. Uh, summer... wait, what'd you say? Summer classes. Did you not hear about them? We're going to be taking supplemental courses. I've already applied for all of us. I know how difficult it's been to balance both school and our late-night excursions. I'm sure you haven't had much time to study, so I apologize for that. The chairman agreed it was a good idea as well. I could have sworn I told Takeba and Yamagishi. Are you serious? First I've heard of it! Oh, um, sorry. I completely forgot to mention it. No way! Hey, you're the one with the worst grades here. Why are you so surprised? Come on! I don't want to hear it. <laughs> don't you think? Well, it's only for a few weeks, so let's do our best.
Hmm. I wonder if I should have gone for the One Piece suit instead. These halter top bikinis look almost like underwear. It feels a little weird to have my belly button exposed. Now that I think about it, this is the first time I've chosen my own swimsuit. But there wasn't much of a selection for the one pieces. Hmm. I wonder if I should ask Yukari-chan again what she thinks. Although, I don't really exercise, so I probably wouldn't look very good standing next to her. Oh, right! I have just the thing! The low-frequency waist slimmer pad I bought from Tanaka's TV show! It said online it was very effective for its price, so maybe it could do some help before the trip. Now let's see... Uh, how do I turn this on? Uh, no! This... <laughs> it tickles! <laughs> oh, what do I do? Do you have a moment? It's <laughs> Kirito Senpai! I have to get the door! <laughs> yes! I'm... I'll be right there! <laughs> oh, um... Am I interrupting anything? The other day, a woman came to my office asking for a donation. Quite the looker, I might add. In fact, she was very much my type. But no matter how attractive she was, I was repulsed by her dedication to charity work. Of course not. I hate the very word. Why should I have to give my hard-earned money to a bunch of freeloaders? I pulled myself up out of squalor to get where I am today. I wanted to get back at the ones who used to laugh at me. That's what I always dreamed of, anyway. But, to tell you the truth, now I have too much money. Profits are booming. I'm so busy, I don't have time to spend a yen of it. Maybe? I should train someone to take my place. I could teach them my business philosophy and management techniques. It'd be a carbon copy of me. It would probably cost me a fortune, but if it works, 
then it's easy living. <laughs> hmm. How would you feel about being adopted? Only joking. People would get funny ideas if I took in a child as old as you. for the sake of the less fortunate, huh? I'm going to do it. Good, good. Not bad, kid.
That's one magnificent melon, ain't she? It's the highlight of my day. So, I've been thinking of throwing a watermelon splitting party. We haven't really done anything summery since vacation started, you know? Especially Amada. He always looks so bored when I see him in the dorm. And man, that kills me to see. It'd be a real shame if he didn't have a single entry in his summer picture diary. one of those things you either pick up on or you don't. Mata's eyes tell it all. At least to me. A lonely stare. Oh, I mean, don't you know? They say women can't resist a guy with a soft spot for kids. And you know what that means? I'm gonna need your help. It's a win-win situation, don't you think? And you know, no oh boy. I think my arms are gonna fall off. Ah, yes. Today shaping up to be a glorious day. Such a shame that the third years and the ladies won't be joining us. Um, if we're splitting watermelons, I'm out. What? Just like that? You're not even gonna hear me out? You have a watermelon and a bat. What else could it possibly be? That's more for little kids anyway. Plus, it's really hot out. And look, I get you're trying to be nice. Hey, don't make it sound like we have nothing better to do. Eh, but I guess we really don't, huh? Come on, let's have some fun. Well, when you put it that way, Maybe just for a little bit. I know, Koromaru. Don't you worry, boy. I didn't forget about you. All right. What are we waiting for? The youngest is to drop her blood. Now this is what real summer feels like. My blood's pumping something fierce. Look who's acting like a kid now. <laughs> Where's the blindfold? We can't split watermelons with just a bat. Speaking of, this bat seems kind of worn in, doesn't it? Oh, wow. You got that. That bat and I go way back. Had it since I was in Little League. I've never mentioned this before. Wow. Must have never had a chance to talk about it. That I used to play baseball, I mean. Anyway, that's old news now. Wait, then should we really be hitting watermelons with this? Hmm? Nah, well... Nah, it's cool. Don't think I'll be using it much from here on out. What's wrong, bud? Dying to chomp on some melon? Koromaru, I can't swing at the watermelon with you in the way. Koromaru? Hey, why don't we use something other than the bat? Um, anything, I guess. Just as long as it's interesting. Interesting? Kind of a weird request. Oh! Like if Sonata-san used his bare hands? Someone say my name? Whoa, Sonata-san. Well, when I got back, I thought I heard voices coming from the roof. So I came to check it out. Hmm. Watermelon splitting, huh? That's right. We were just talking about what to use to hit it. You're not going to use that bat? My fists. On this? Oh my god, yes! I'd actually love to see that! That's okay, right, Jupe-san? Huh? 
Uh, sure. If that's what you want. All right. Guess I better make this good then. Hey, try not to go all out, or there won't be any left to eat. Son, you're incredible! What? What? What the heck? How are we supposed to eat it now? Can't believe that thing was still edible after it exploded like that. Didn't go exactly how I was expecting, but looked like a mod ad. <sighs> Man, I was acting kind of lame back there, huh? You know, before we busted the melon. I'm talking about the whole bat thing. You were just trying to be thoughtful. I didn't want to come off like I was having second thoughts, but I guess I couldn't help it, huh? I was supposed to be this cool mentor, but instead, the kid ends up pitying me. Don't worry about me anymore. I'll just get even sadder, you know? I mean, I'm not saying it's your fault, dude. How the hell do I put it? This is a me problem. It probably doesn't make sense. I feel like my life, my teenage years, it's just all over the place. Anyway, I think we're done for today, yeah? Appreciate you helping me prep and clean up. Well, let's head back downstairs. Ah, good evening. I just came by to check in on Koromaru. Do you think he'll do well? That's good to hear. Well, given his reputation for loyalty, I wasn't too worried in the first place. If you have any concerns, please feel free to let me know anytime. It's only fair, considering I was the one who requested that Koromaru join the squad. Oh, I'm all for Koromaru joining us. He's totally welcome. I'll even throw in training lessons from the master. Um, I'm pretty sure Korachan's already more disciplined than you. Could you even sit still if someone told you to stay? Hey, don't compare me to a dog. I'm totally disciplined. I can follow directions. Kinda. Yeah, you really sold us on it. Anyway, so, Mr. Chairman, uh, about those summer classes. Ah, yes, I heard about Kirijo-kun's plan. It sounded like a good idea, so I went along with it. No, why would you agree to that? Oh, was I being nosy? Oh, I'm missing out on my passionate summer romance. She's disappearing. Farewell, my beautiful city girl, awaiting me by the shoreline. The city or the shores, pick one. Even if you didn't have classes, you'd probably just bum around the station all day. You should just accept your fate. Oh, by the way, Mr. Chairman, weren't you about to tell us something before he arrived? Hmm? Ah, that's right. Aside from my unnecessary meddling, I do have another request for all of you. Does everyone have a moment? I think it's a good time for you all to get a routine health checkup. You know where Tatsumi Memorial Hospital is, right? Oh, that's where Sonata Senpai was treated before. With how much you've all been fighting lately, it'd be best to stay on top of your physical health. It wouldn't be good if your personas were causing any strain on your bodies, right? 
I expect it shouldn't be too much of a detour to stop by the hospital after your summer classes. I understand. Still, this is rather sudden. Don't worry too much about it. Like they say, a stitch in time saves nine. Or your side. We'll be doing the checkups individually, one day at a time. You can decide amongst yourselves who goes when. Don't forget to deck up for your checkup. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Oh, maybe bring your evokers in case you need to take any shots? Yes. Whatever it is, you gotta do, riding up my two to two. 